Consumer debt has hit another record high in July 2024. Let's dive into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Frank Talks Money. Real quick, I need two quick favors. Please like the video. The more likes the video receives, the more the algorithm will share the video with more like-minded people like you and me. And second of all, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money. Now let's dive into the content, guys. So guys, in July 2024, consumers have set a new record for household debt. Let me read a couple of things to you. The Federal Reserve said Monday that total consumer debt grew by $25.5 billion to a fresh new record high of $5.1 trillion in July 2024. That was well ahead of the 12 billion that was forecasted by the Federal Reserve. Revolving debt, the category that includes credit cards, grew by almost 11 billion dollars, guys. Almost, almost attributing to half of the 25.5 billion dollars that debt grew by in July of 2024. The upstick in household debt is highlighted by the financial pressures that households face today. Many are increasingly relying on credit cards, home equity loans to, to fuel their spending. July's jump in credit card debt may be less likely to be repeated in the future as economists say banks are starting to put more strenuous guidelines on revolving credit. Guys, why do we keep going into debt? I hear people complaining about debt, but it seems like we continue to go into debt. Guys, you can't shovel a hole and then on the back end, have someone keep piling, putting the dirt back in. You would never get out of debt that way, guys. Guys, I'm telling you, debt is one of the biggest drivers that will keep people broke and living paycheck to paycheck. You have to eliminate consumer debt, guys. Guys, let me tell you something. Inflation has peaked. Inflation has peaked. But these prices in which they have peaked to, they are not coming down. These prices are not coming down, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, if you, I'm telling you, if you continue to live your lives in debt, you are going to be broke and struggling for the rest of your life. That's just an honest assessment. I'm just getting to the point now, I don't think people really want to get out of debt. I just, I don't. Because debt keeps growing. And I understand we're dealing with inflation here. But you know what, guys? If you guys would have had to saved money prior to inflation, if you guys would have been investing into assets prior to inflation, you wouldn't be struggling today in 2024. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Just gonna be honest with you. The reason I am not struggling right now, the reason me and my ex-wife were not struggling, because we had no consumer debt. We didn't have, we wasn't sinking and drowning in debt. We got out of debt years ago. We wasn't sinking and drowning in debt. We got out of debt. I understand times are hard, guys. I get it. Goods and services is expensive as hell right now. Food is expensive. We're trying to feed our families. We're trying to go to work. We got to take care of our four walls, our homes, whether you rent or, or you're buying a home. You have bills you have to pay for inside of your home. You got cable, streaming services. You got heating and air conditioning. You got food, you got insurance, you got to put gas in your car, you got to go to work. But guys, you have got to get out of debt if you want a better financial life. I'm just going to be honest with you. You have got to get out of debt. Debt is the number one driver of people being broke and poor. So if you want to remain broke and poor, continue to go into debt. Continue to go into debt if you want to remain broke and poor. Guys, you have to come up with a plan for your money. You have to come up with a plan to get out of debt. Let's talk about four financial principles that everyone should live on. Number one, you have got to live on a budget. You have got to know what your money is doing and not wondering where it went. Budget gives you control. Budget gives you control of your money. You're telling your money where to go and not your money telling you where it should go because you're in debt and you have to pay off creditors. So everyone should be living on a financial budget and tracking every single dime you spend if you are in debt. Number two of the four financial principles, you have got to get on a plan to eliminate consumer debt, guys. You have got to get on a plan to eliminate consumer debt. Guys, if you're still here, please hit that like button, guys. Show me some love. Hit that like button, guys, for 
FTM Nation, Frank Talks Money. Hit that like button, guys. Guys, you have got to eliminate consumer debt. Guys, everybody that I know that is struggling right now with no savings, no investments, living paycheck to paycheck is because they have, they are sinking in consumer debt. Debt. Me and my ex-wife, we did the Dave Ramsey snowball plan to get ourselves out of debt. We did not follow the plan verbatim because there are some, some of its principles I just didn't agree with. But we did this debt snowball where you list your debt smallest to largest, list your debt smallest to largest, and you just tackle it. Tackle it debt by debt. And you just chop that tree down, limb by limb, just chop that tree down. That helped us get out of debt, guys. Number three of the four principles, financial, four financial principles. Number three, you have got to save liquid cash. Guys, you have got to save liquid, 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 liquid cash. Man, I can't have to say liquid now. You have got to save liquid cash. Because I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm going to tell you what happened to me two months, a month ago. Get up in the morning, driving to work, get in my work car. I'm driving, driving down the highway. On my way to work, boom, my serpentine belt breaks. Guys, serpentine belt breaks, which screwed up something else. After all in all, it was about a eight, $1,900 repair. So let's call it $2,000, right? I wasn't worried about that because I knew I had an emergency fund. I knew I had an emergency fund. I wasn't upset about that. I was more upset that I was, I was being inconvenienced because I had a busy day at work and I had to get to work because I knew I had the money to take care of the repairs on the car. I knew I had the money. I was more mad because it was just an inconvenience. 6, 6.30 in the morning, my car breaks down. But I had the tow truck driver bring me back to my house because I was only like 10 minutes away. Jumped in my weekend car, went to work. But I knew I had an emergency fund and money socked away to where I wasn't worried about it. It, was, it wasn't going to stress me out. So once you get out of debt, guys, you have got to save an emergency fund or some type of liquid saving. Have two or three months of your household expenses socked away. Five grand, 10 grand. 7,500, but whatever, you need to have liquid savings socked away. And then number four of the four financial principles, you need to start investing your money into assets, guys. Like right now, I use two vehicles to grow my money in assets and paper assets. My 401k at work that I've been in, been in for the last 10 years, and I have a broker's account that I set up 12 years ago. I have a total of Three index funds that I invest in. Total of three. Guys, you have to put your money into assets in order to grow wealth. And if you're not trying to be wealthy, assets will get you to the point to where you are financially free, where you reach financial independence because you have assets that you can lean on when you need money. You know why everybody is hurting right now? Because everybody is broke and they have no assets to tap into because they've always been carrying debt. When you carry debt, you can't invest into assets, guys. When you carry debt, you cannot invest into assets. You can't do it because all of your money is being taken up by debt. So you have no money left over to invest in assets to grow wealth or financial independence. Guys, I'm telling you something. My life has totally changed because I invest in assets. When I first opened up my brokerage account, I was still kind of playing with it, not really putting a whole lot of money in it. But once I started getting my financial life together and started studying the stock market and things of that nature and start studying how if I just stayed in the market, stayed invested, how it can grow my wealth over time, my life has totally done a 360, guys. I don't worry about money. I'm 52 years old. I don't worry about money because I'm out of debt. The only debt I have is my mortgage. I'm working diligently to pay my mortgage off. Went through a divorce in 2022. Sold my home with my ex-wife. Bought my new home the same day. Closed on the sale of my old home that morning. The afternoon, closed on, the, closed on me buying my new home. Same day. So my interest rate is a little higher at 6%. So once the interest rates go down, I'm going to refinance my home. But I'm working diligently to pay my home off. Because I want to be 100 percent equivalently equivalently debt free and owe nobody nothing right now owe nobody nothing got two cars a motorcycle they're mine the repo man would not be coming to get anything here i have the titles they're mine they're bought they're paid for i want the deed to my home to say paid off don't owe anybody but the only way you can get there guys is to get out of debt consumer debt is the leading driver that would keep you broke and living paycheck to paycheck and not being able to accomplish anything financially. So like guys, let me run through those four financial principles one more time. Number one of the financial principles, live on a plan, live on a budget. Number two of the financial principles, eliminate 
consumer debt or pay down your consumer debt as much as you possibly can. Number three of the financial principles, save some liquid cash. And number four of the financial principles, start investing your money into income generating assets, guys. So with that, guys, that's my rant on consumers continue to set record highs with the debt. Please remember to like the video, share the video, and most important, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money. And with that, guys, we always remember, financial decisions you make today will impact your financial life tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Frank Talks Money, I'm out.